Today we're going to add a pop of color to the hood of our 2015 50th anniversary Mustang. We went with silver wheels on this car because the silver really looks good against the Kona blue paint. We added a matching silver CJ decal. Well today we're going to install these hood spears from Graphic Express. It's going to be a silver decal to kind of tie everything together, add a little color to the hood. It does a great job of accenting the side of the stock hood here. These will basically fit on kind of just like this. You get it right where you want it and then just trim the back. First we're going to do is make sure the area is clean. So we're going to take some alcohol everywhere where our sticker is going to go, clean the surface of our hood. On a decal like this, there's actually two ways you can do the installation. There's the wet method and the dry method. What we'll do is we'll actually do both. We'll do wet method on this side, dry method on that side, so you can see the differences. The dry method, it's a little bit easier, less bubbles, it's a lot faster, but you got to be a lot more a lot more careful when you install the decal. The wet method gives you a little bit more room for air and a little more room for adjustment. What we're doing is this is basically soapy water with just a little bit of alcohol in it. And just spray the area where the sticker is going to go. And then peel it off the backing. What you want to do here is just kind of line it up where you want the sticker to go on the car. Try to work any bubbles out. What we do now is cut off the excess here, leaving a little bit because we're going to curl it underneath. Be careful not to scratch your hood. All right, start in the front now. We're going to carefully peel back the paper. You see any little bumps or creases or bubbles? Don't worry about it because they will come out. That's actually kind of the point of using the wet method. What we're doing now is just working out some of the larger bubbles. Keep in mind, don't worry about the small ones because as soon as it gets out in the sun and dries, they'll all go away. Just make sure there's no real large bubbles. Okay, let's move on to the other side. What we're going to do now is measure where our first installation is so we make sure the other one is in the same spot. Eight and a quarter of the front. So now we can line this up and make sure it's in the same place. We'll put some tape on to hold it once we made our measurements. All right, so once basically you measure the front, measure everything, make sure you have the sticker kind of right exactly the same as where the other side is. Then we're going to take a piece of tape, put it right down the middle. All right, we're going to leave the blue tape here. And what you want to do is just carefully tear it. Because then it'll actually give you a point to make sure it's lined up again when you put it back down. Now we're going to take off the backing. What we'll do now is basically just pull it back. Don't pull real tight. Pull it back and then line it up with your blue tape and then just work the sticker onto the paint. This up and down method definitely works better than just pushing front to back. And same thing up here. Carefully rip the tape to give us a point of reference. Now we're going 
cut the back of this one off. And I can peel off the backing. A couple small bubbles is normal, but you see we have considerably less than we had with the wet method. And then you can just carefully roll over any material left here in the back. And your insulation's finished. The hood spears from Graphic Express really add a nice touch to the hood of our 2015 Mustang. Now, a couple things I should mention. If you have ceramic coatings, it's very popular right now. You do want to remove the ceramic before you try to install any decal because it will not stick. And again, you will get some bubbles. Don't worry about it. As soon as thing gets out in the sun, the bubbles will go away and it'll look great. Now these really add a nice touch because they, they show off the shape of the hood that you really don't see because it gets lost in the color. And in our case, it ties in great with our window banner and our wheels. The installation is pretty straightforward. Figure about half an hour to 45 minutes, we'll be back on the road in no time.